missed you, missed you, missed you, missed you so much. Today we are having fried chicken, sweet and sour sauce. We have egg rolls back here. I have a sweet tea right here. We have our Tabasco sauce, of course. You guys, I have no makeup on. I literally just got out the hospital. Um, so listen, the makeup, the hair, no, it, not not today, not today, okay. But I am today's video. I'm going to talk to you guys about why I was in the hospital. Um, I went to the hospital twice, and I, I've been in I've been in, in excruciating pain since last week, um, since Tuesday of last week. So excruciating pain, like nonstop, no relief, can't sleep, can't eat, can't do nothing, type of pain. Okay, and I'm going to talk to you guys about that because this is something that I also. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys about that because this is definitely, um, and my wig is not glued down, you guys. So, listen, y'all going to have to take me as I am, okay? <laughs> um, I want to bring awareness to this. Um, it's, people don't really talk about this a lot. I've never even heard of it. Like, I mean, I heard of it, but it's not, I never even thought anything of it. But anyway, okay, let's get into it. I'm going to eat a little bit, and of course, we're going to talk. But I love you guys so much. Um, I told you guys in the community post that I was in the hospital. I shared the picture with you guys. Because um, I don't want you guys to ever think that I'm just like neglecting you. And I'm just, you know, just leaving y'all all, all willy-nilly. No. Like things, you know, things are happening. You know, life happens. Life happens. So I'm better now. Um, God is good. God is God is good to me. God is always good to me. So I'm better now. So I'm gonna eat some egg rolls. Um, they changed their egg rolls up. There's egg, their egg rolls used to be way bigger. I don't know what they've been doing, but they didn't change it up. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, they changed their egg rolls. How are you guys doing? No. I am so happy. I am so happy that I'm no longer suffering. Okay. Look at our delicious crispy chicken wings that we get from the Chinese store um, with the sweet and sour sauce. This is never going to get old. Y'all know I'm going to always eat this. As long as the channel is alive, I'm going to eat this. Mmm. 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 Okay. So. Now, this video is going to be a little bit TMI, and it's, it's like a woman's video. So, if you don't like hearing talk about women's stuff, then, you know, you don't have to watch this video. I'll see you next time. Okay. So, last week, last week Tuesday, I come on my menstrual like normal. I don't have any irregular menstruals or anything like that everything has always been for me like pretty normal pretty fine you know i'm on my menstrual three days and i'm done um so to that so last week you know i start my menstrual you know i caught it right when it started I'm like, oh, okay, I'm on my And normally, normally when I'm on, I have cramping the first day. I don't have to take any medicine. My cramps, like, I do have a high pain tolerance, but I don't, I never felt like the pain was so bad where I had to take anything. 
for uh, for the pain. So, you know, all of a sudden, I'm getting these cramps. What I thought was cramps. Um, it's just like hurting really, really bad. Like, I'm just like, what in the world is going on? Like, I am in a lot of pain. These cramps really, really, really hurt this time. Like, uh, excuse me. Like, this is not, this is not it. Like, I don't know what kind of cramps these are. So, I didn't really think anything of it. I just I just was like, okay, well, this must be one of those months where I'm just having an intense, intense pain, intense cramping, and whatever. So, as the day goes by, the cramps are getting worse and worse and worse. And, you know, I checked myself and I noticed, I was like, I'm not even really, it's just TMI, you guys, but I was like, I'm not even bleeding like that, like, it was the lightest, it was the lightest, lightest, I didn't, it's like, I didn't even have to wear anything. Like, I didn't have to put any type of protection on or nothing. And I'm like, in the world, that's not normal for me. So, I'm like, alright, well let me, it's getting bad, let me take something. I took Midol, but I did absolutely nothing. And normally, if I feel like I need something, if I feel like, okay, I need to take something, I'll take a Midol and boom, it's knocked out, it's gone. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It worked perfect for time. Midol didn't work. Ibuprofen wasn't working. Nothing was working. So I'm just like, like okay, what is going on? I go all week in pain. I mean, I'm in excruciating, excruciating pain. I'm just like, okay. I'm just waiting for it to go away. I'm waiting for my, my period to stop, whatever. As the days are going by, I'm like, okay. I'm having these intense, horrible, horrible, horrible cramps. But there's no, no, nothing coming out of me. Like, what is happening right now? Like, I was starting to get concerned because I was, like, bent over. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I was just in so much discomfort, so much pain. I'm crying. I was like, I, I, I really, I need to go to the hospital. I need to go to the hospital. So, I drove myself to the hospital. Um, I get checked in. You know, they take my vital signs and stuff like that. And I tell them what's, what's going on, what's wrong with me. So, they was like, okay, we're going to schedule you a um ultrasound we're going to give you a pregnancy test we're going to give you an ultrasound and we're going to um uh see what's what's happening okay so i'm in so much pain um i'm like you guys really got to help me please I, i'm in so much pain and so um i told them that i did take a 800 milligram ibuprofen before i got there so um I guess they was giving me giving that time to kick in. I don't know because they didn't even give me anything when I was at the hot in the in the emergency room. They didn't give me anything for pain, even though I told them I had just took some to ibuprofen. They didn't give me anything, so I thought that was kind of weird. So after a while, the doctor comes back after the um, ultrasound results came back. He said, "Oh, you have a cyst on your left ovary." And I was like, what does that mean? Like, I don't, it was like, it's a small cyst. It's like, um, he said, it's kind of like a pimple. And it was like, he made it seem like it was no big, big deal. He was like, it just, they go away. Sometimes they go away, they dissolve, whatever. It's nothing to worry about. He was like, um, I was like, what it like is, can you have kids? Like, is, is this something that I should be concerned about? You know, I've heard of ovarian cancer, but I've never really, I mean, I heard of a cyst before, but never really, it's like, you know out of your mind um i didn't really know anything about it so he made it seem like um you know just go to your gynecologist you know you'll be fine i'm like okay i get home you guys i did not i have not i hadn't eaten in four days like i could not eat i could not sleep i could not do anything like it was really really bad 
And so the doctor, I mean, I didn't do anything. I just kept taking the ibuprofen, but it, it just, the ibuprofen was not working. Like I still was in so much excruciating pain. Like it just was no relief. And then I thought it was kind of weird that, you know, the doctor didn't even really give me anything for pain. Cause I came in there and I was telling them like, I'm in a lot of pain. So I thought that was kind of strange that they never gave me nothing for pain. So, uh, Friday, that was Friday. So then Saturday, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. And then Sunday, it's getting, and I'm just like, I'm not a pill taker. I don't take pills. I don't take any type of pills, you guys. I don't like pills. I don't take pills. When I'm in pain, I, if, I suffer it out. But if it's so bad, I will go ahead and take it. But it was getting to the point where I was popping those ibuprofens like it was M&M's. And I did not like that. And I was just like, I need relief. Like, I can't sleep. I can't eat. I'm just in so much pain. Sunday morning, I mean, I'm doing it all. I'm taking baths. I'm, I'm taking hot. I, took, I can't tell you how many hot baths I took. I can't tell you how many hours I had a heating pad on my stomach. It was so bad. Oh, my God. It was so bad. And he asked me. Are you feeling any pain in this specific area? I was like, no, I just feel pain. Like it feels like, it feels like the worst, it feels like the worst cramps you've ever had in your entire life. I've never had a baby before. So I'm not even going to sit up there and say it's contractions, but it was, it was that type. It was bad. It was so bad. I'm in tears. I've never cried over stomach pain. I've never cried over having a men like it's never been like that for me before on my menstrual i've never cried because it's i mean yeah it hurts but it's not not enough for me to be crying like that i mean i'm in tears i i can't even walk like it's bad <sighs> so i go back on sunday i said you know what <sighs> i was here on friday the doctor you know just basically said i had a cyst on my left ovary I don't know what's going on. I'm in a lot of pain. Like, he didn't give me no medicine, no medication for it. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I can't even walk. Like, I'm crying. Like, it's just bad. So, it's a different top doctor on staff. And I'm so happy. Like, when I went back on Sunday, I'm so happy. That staff on Sunday was just amazing. Like, they did the thing. You hear me? They did a thorough check on me. They took my blood. They didn't even do that last time. They took my blood. They gave me a pelvic exam. Because when you're explaining that you're having this type of pain, the, the nurse explained to me, she was like, I don't know why this doctor, when you went on Friday, why he didn't like examine you the way we're examining you now. Because when you're at the age of childbearing, there's things in protocol that we have to do in the hospital. And I was like, wow, I didn't know that. She was like, yeah, like he should have took your blood. You should have got a pelvic exam. You should have got an ultrasound just because of the pain that you were describing. And they also gave me a CAT scan. Honey, come to find out, you guys, the cyst ruptured. Like on... Um, I guess sometime between Friday and Sunday, the cyst ruptured, which made it like, I mean, I guess that's a good thing because it's not there anymore, but it's dangerous having, um, you know, having a cyst rupture can be really dangerous and it can actually even be fatal. You know what I mean? You can have internal bleeding and just a whole bunch of stuff going on down there. And you guys, I was just like crying and I just was like, oh my God, like what the heck is going on? Like. I started thinking all this stuff like I'm young like I want kids like what does this even mean I never even heard of anything like this before like the most I've ever heard of was like ovarian cancer and I barely even knew what that was like you know you guys I was really going through it like I was really really going through it so they did everything that they needed to do to, to care for me and um gave me medicine they immediately put me on an IV um they uh they I was dehydrated you guys um, cause I haven't had anything to eat. Um, 
I, I, I hadn't done anything. Like, I hadn't used the bat. Like, I, it was bad. It was really, really bad. I also was throwing up really bad um, throughout the week. I, I forgot to tell you guys that. I was throwing up, like, so much. I did not know what was wrong with me. I threw up in the hospital. I'm shaking. I'm in so much pain. But they set me up. I started feeling better once they gave me the IV. And they gave me medicine in the IV. And, um... They had me on fluids and just, oh my God, it was, I just want to say shout out to you. If you're in the medical field and you love your job, I know your job is hard. It's not easy. If you're in the medical field doing any, any level of the medical field, you are appreciated. I appreciate you. You going into work every single day. I know that it's hard. It's stressful. The patients might get on your nerves, might get cussed out, all types of stuff. But if you do your job and you do it right and you love it and it means a lot to you and you care about your patients, I appreciate you and I thank you. You are special. You are needed. You are appreciated and you are wanted. I kept thanking the nurse the whole time. As I was feeling better, I'm thanking her. I'm hugging her. The doctor, I'm thanking him. I'm hugging him because it just felt good to be really taken care of and really heard. You know, you guys, like I feel like the first time I went, he just was like, oh, you got a cyst. Go to your gynecologist. You'll be fine. No, no pain medicine no nothing they didn't take my blood they didn't give me a pelvic exam they didn't check if I had a yeast they, they didn't check anything last time they did not check anything and you know when I went on Sunday they did a thorough a thorough 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 exam they took good care of me um they checked everything and, um, got me together. I was in there. And, you know, I'm just thanking God that everything was caught. Because, you guys, sometimes, and me too, I'm guilty for this too. Sometimes we be in pain and we just be like, you know, I'm just going to take the pain. Me, I have a very high, high pain touch. I'll sit there in the pain. And won't even do nothing. Like I'll just sit there and just let the pain pass. But sometimes you guys, if you are in that much pain where you just feel like you cannot take it, you're at a level 10. I was at a 15. They said with, with, from a scale of 1 to 10, what's your pain? I said 15. When you're in that much pain, you guys, you got to get up and you got to go to the hospital because you don't know what's going on with your body. A lot of us, we try to diagnose ourselves with things. Oh, uh, you know, it's this, it's that. No, you don't know what it is. You need to go to see a medical professional who can run tests and do things to see what's wrong with you. And, like, just imagine if I had a sat there, you know, and, and, and just sat in the pain and just was like, oh, okay, well, it'll go away. And it could have been worse. Like, it, I could have made it worse by not, I could have been taking medicine that I shouldn't even be taking. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, you guys? Um, so, I was told that, you know, sis, I, I did my research and also was told from the doctor that cysts can come from many different things. Stress, um, um, what else did they say? Hormonal imbalance was a big one. Hormonal imbalance. And many different other ways too. Um, so I was just doing my research and you know, I wanted to tell you guys this because this is a serious thing. Women go through this all the time. A lot women, we go through a lot. We go through a lot, okay? Women go through a lot. Men go through a lot too, but women go through a lot. And um, it just felt good. Like I was just so thankful. I just hugged him and thanked him. I hugged the doctor. I hugged the nurse, everybody who had any part in taking care of me. I was just so happy. I was just so happy to have relief because I, I wasn't getting any sleep. I was up all night. I wasn't getting any sleep. I hadn't had anything to eat. I was dehydrated. Like, I was just a mess. I was an absolute mess. And... It's just really scary. Really, really scary. 
but I'm better now. They gave me a prescription. They took good care of me. They did everything that they needed to do to get me together. And I'm just so grateful. I'm grateful for my life. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my strength. Everything else, they did my blood. Checked my blood. Everything else looked normal, but just the, um, you know, the cyst and everything, that that was the issue. But um, I love you guys so much, and I just want you guys to take care of yourselves. Don't let it go. Get to the hospital. If something's wrong, you got to get to the hospital, you guys. Um, and I also was doing research on cysts, and I, and I know some of you women can relate to me. Um, some of you guys have dealt with cysts before. Some of you guys have had them before. Some of you guys have multiple. Some people have. He said mine was a small cyst. Come to find out it wasn't even. Like he really made it seem like it was no big deal. This is what that doctor did. He made it seem like it was no big deal. Like oh you know people get, women get them all the time. It'll go away on its own. Um, sometimes it's triggered from your from your menstrual from your period. Um, just go to make a make a gynecologist. Go to your gynecologist. Make an appointment. You'll be fine. No, some women have multiple cysts and come to find out my cyst was not even what it what he said it was, you know? So, um, I'm just very grateful. But I was doing research and I uh, looked at some other women who've had issues with cysts and they said that, they said that this Dim Plus, let me see if I can get it to focus, hold on. This is called Dim Plus by Nature Way. And um, this uh, helps. This is natural. Um, it is vegan, ca uh, vegetarian castles. And it is, um, it helps uh, regulate your hormones. and helps get everything, your hormones and everything get together. If you have like um, PCOS and just like a whole bunch of different things. You're growing hair, facial hair. Um, all types of stuff. A lot of women have tried this and they had cysts and fibroids and all types of stuff and they tried this. So I ordered this. So I started taking this just to, um, just to see if this helps me. Um, a lot of the women that have taken this said that they have shrinked or completely gotten rid of their cyst when they went back to the gynecologist after taking this. Um, they don't have any more acne. They don't have any more, um, just any more of those issues that you get. Um, when you have like hormonal imbalances and stuff like that or irregular periods. Um, also, I've never been on birth control. I've always been against birth control. Um, so that was also something that they talked about. They were like, you know, have you ever considered being on birth control? Have you ever had any irregular periods or anything like that? I was like, no, I've never had irregular periods. I've never had any issues um, in that area. Um, just here recently that's the only thing that i can think of but i've never been on birth control before you guys i don't plan on getting on birth control so that's why i'm trying to just stick to something like this um and just like some natural stuff because i just i just don't like birth control um just for my own personal reasons um but yes you guys i had to let you guys know that um some some pipe some people might have been embarrassed to share something like that but it's not embarrassing to me because i just want you guys to know that you know, it's a part of life. It's women's stuff. We go through things every day. And, you know, I had never heard of it. I mean, I heard of it, but I never, it was never a concern. Like, I never, it was never nothing in my mind. Uh, excuse me. So, I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know and spread awareness. And if you have ever had a ovarian cyst, um... I know it can be really bad if it goes untreated, like, and like, it just can be bad. So I'm just really happy that I'm better. I'm not in any more pain. My God. That pain was on another level. Excruciating pain. Like, literally, I was suffering all week. Suffering all week. The worst pain ever. Um, so yeah, I just want to let you guys know that. Try this out if you ever, you know, do your research on this. I did my research on it. And try it out and see if it helps you. Dim plus estrogen metabolism. So, 
yeah it's supposed to be really good a lot of the women that use this said that they have gotten rid of their um completely gotten rid of any hormonal imbalances that they had and cysts and stuff are completely gone so i was going to try to try some of that and it helps with energy and just different things like that but yes you guys i love you all so much i am i'm smiling now i was not smiling before y'all i was not smiling before i was in so much pain i was in so much pain so much so much pain so i'm sorry that i'm not looking the best but i look better than what i did when i was in the hospital <laughs> i was a mess y'all and um I just like I said, thank you guys so much for putting your life on the line, being a nurse, being a doctor. Um, and um, if you if you need to go back to the hospital, they send you back, they send you home, and you need to go back to the hospital because you just still feel like you need some pain relief or something ain't right. Go again, honey. Go again. At first, I was like, oh man, I don't want to go to the hospital. What can they do for me? They didn't even do nothing the first time. What can they do for me? But honey, they got me together the second time. They got me all the way together. So I'm just grateful and thankful um, for the staff. I'm thankful to God that I'm much better now because it's, it's a horrible thing to be suffering and being in pain like that, you guys. It is really, really bad. Um, let me know down in the comment section if you guys have ever gone through anything like that. My ladies, gentlemen, if you're watching, if you have a wife or anybody that you know has gone through anything like that, uh, please let me know. Let me know your story. Um, if you know about this uh, supplement that I'm taking, this um, the capsules, the Dim Plus, if you've ever heard of it, let me know um, what your experience was. If you know any any natural remedies um, for for women to get their hormones together or anything, if any women that's dealing with fibroids, how to shrink fibroids and all that stuff. If y'all know any of that, if y'all know any of that, put it in the, put it in there in the comment section. And, um, And please let us know, honey, because we got to stick together. Us ladies, we got to stick together, honey, because we go through a lot. We really got to stick together. Seriously. That mess ain't no joke. We have got to stick together. Mm -mm. So, they did it all. I was so scared. I was like, I know I ain't pregnant. They gave me a pregnancy test. It was negative. Of course. Um, But I just, I was just, oh Lord have mercy. It was bad. It was really, really bad. But yes, you guys, I love y'all. And I'm finally getting my appetite back, you guys. Because I, like I said, I couldn't eat. I was throwing up. It was bad. But I'm better now. <laughs> I love y'all. I love y'all so much. So, so much. I really do. Um, I will definitely... I'm going to finish this month out strong. I'm going to try to finish it. Finish, well, yesterday I was, I was trying to come yesterday. But I just was like, you know what? You need to just take it easy. Like, I know you want to get back to work. I know you miss your babies. I did. I missed y'all so much. But just take the day and just just get get yourself together. Just one more day. Um, we will have deep fried seafood before the month, like before the month is out. And um, you know I'm better now, you guys. Um, I miss you guys so much. Take care of yourselves, you guys. Um, get a second opinion on whatever the situation is because as you can see, the first doctor, I don't know what he was doing. Um, he didn't even give me any pain medicine, y'all. Like, he didn't even give me any pain medicine. Like, ugh. Anyway. I'm just grateful that I'm alive. I'm grateful that it's nothing, um, it, it, it could have been worse. It definitely could have been worse. Um, but I'm just grateful that it, it didn't get any worse than what it was. I'm grateful that I'm fine now. Um, <laughs> excuse me, I'm good to go. I'm good to go. I love you guys so much. Leave your comments down below. 
Uh, excuse me, if you know anybody, any anything, if you can give any of us advice. Uh, most of my audience is women anyway, so. Um, and you can have a sis early. Like, you don't gotta be old having a sis. That's why I wanted to talk to you guys about this because there's 14 year olds with fists, sis, 16 year olds with sis. And I've never had anything, like, I've never had any major medical issues, anything, you know, anything weird going on. I've never had, you know, anything like that. Um, I've experienced some hard things, you know, some painful things, but um, I had no idea anything about a cyst, a ovarian cyst. Um, and I'm grateful that it wasn't like a whole bunch of them. Um, but, you know, he said it was only on one side, but I felt it. I felt so much pain, just, just, Oh God, it was the worst pain of my life. It was it was really, really bad. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching today's video. I will see you again in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Love on yourselves. Support yourselves. Do everything that you need to do to get you in a good place, in a good space, mentally, physically, emotionally, you guys. I love y'all so much. I'm gonna make sure that I'm popping in the next video, okay? Makeup done, hair done, nails done, everything did, okay? <laughs> I love you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.